I'm Andy Sokol, Vehicle Systems Engineer in NASA's Launch Services Program, and I'm outside KSC, taking you inside KSC. The twin solid rocket boosters that will power the Space Launch System rocket, or SLS, on the Artemis One mission are now fully assembled. The process began in November 2020. Workers with NASA's Exploration Ground Systems and contractor Jacobs used a heavy lift crane in Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building, eventually stacking 10 booster segments and nose assemblies atop the mobile launcher. Artemis One will test the Orion spacecraft and SLS rocket as an integrated system ahead of crewed flights to the moon under the Artemis program. NASA and Boeing are working to decide a new target launch date for Orbital Flight Test 2. A United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket will launch Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft on an uncrewed mission to the International Space Station. Some of the factors involved in the evaluation include winter storms that affected Houston, Texas, the recent replacement of avionics boxes, the volume of analysis needed before the flight, and the schedule of vehicles slated to visit the station. The flight will pave the way for astronauts to fly to the station aboard Starliner under NASA's commercial crew program. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov slash Kennedy.